Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable. Today I'm going to be discussing my personal top 5 favourite things about the new characters during beta testing. Thank you Star Stable for giving me access to the testing and just a quick reminder that absolutely everything we saw during beta testing is a work in progress and not complete whatsoever. There are many bugs and glitches that Star Stable is aware of and many more changes and additions Star Stable want to add either before official release and even later on. So let's get into it. I have to say I think the most impressive thing I've seen on the new characters is the hair. Not that this list is in order. <laughs> Star Stable just did like beyond my expectations. I'm just not sure I actually thought that much about what changes would happen to the hair, but I am thoroughly impressed. Unfortunately, the hair hasn't been fully added yet. The animations clip a little bit when the character moves, and there's also some weird clipping happening to the hair with a very small amount of helmets, but more importantly, to my glasses. Of course, this is all something that I've written down for Star Stable, just so they know that I'd love to have all of this fixed, even if it was already on their list of things to do. Funnily enough, I found myself leaning more towards the pigtail plat style more than my iconic hair actually has been updated to. Nothing against the changes here, I still love them both and see myself wanting to switch between literally all of the hairs all of the time. <laughs> Speaking of plaits, the new designs are so much better than, than what we had before, but of course it's just a different art style really, I suppose. A strange glitch happened to me during beta testing which removed a lot of the hairs, or some of them at least. I'm not entirely sure what happened and whether buying every single hairstyle in the game accidentally broke my closet a little bit, but even though I could see and use the black style of this hair here on my first day of beta testing, a few days later it was gone, and I found so many other hairs that I just can't find anymore. Maybe I really did just break the game. <laughs> Trust me to do it. Anyways, I really hope to see some more hairstyles such as buns etc, and can't wait to see what the finalized animations will look like. Is this technically still a part of hair? Well either way maybe consider this a bonus or a half point or something on the list. I wasn't expecting to get eyebrows separated and not really thought about eyebrows at all until the first time Star Stable mentioned it in their blog post and honestly I am so so glad they made this update. Being able to match eyebrows to hair color has been a game changer, including the added personality of possibly giving off the vibe that your original hair is for example black but you've dyed your hair blonde or another one of the gorgeous colored hairs. And all of the different shapes of eyebrows are game changing, which I haven't seen enough people talk about in my opinion. Something so small can really change the feeling of the face shape and even the personality. I'm actually in love. I would not only love to see even more styles because even though there's so many, I swear I could never have enough. I'd also love to see some more colors. It might seem slightly eccentric, but even my little brother said he would love to be able to have some blue eyebrows or even be able to change the color separately. You know, one black eyebrow, one blue eyebrow or something, but that's just food for thought. I think that the makeup looks super pretty on the new characters regardless of whether I'm in love with them or not. I feel it's undeniable that the makeup looks like it's been done really well, including the Halloween makeup. However, I do really miss my original makeup. I feel Star Stable simplified it a lot. The current, or old, whichever you want to call it, makeup has like fake eyelashes with what appears to be eyeliner drawn on, and this is very dramatic. However, it has been very simplified and uh, down size that's not the right word but you know what i mean on the new characters don't get me wrong it still looks amazing but i am just somewhat obsessed with like big fancy eyeliner designs even though i have no talent in real life to do that so i would love to see them make an appearance on the new characters alongside the makeup we are already seeing do not get me wrong the animations were a copy paste of the current animations with very, very extremely minor changes, but nevertheless, I already have found myself personally liking the walking and running animation so far. Like, the vibe is there. Don't get me wrong, there are some strange little glitches, but for something that's barely been started, I'm really liking the vibes. 
The same goes for the riding animations. However, they are even less complete looking. There is some slight arm movement and even the arm positioning, which makes me just so, so excited to actually see the final product. In fact, in the second beta mini update, we even got the start to the facial animations. These already add so much life and potential to more aspects of the game. I'm hoping for a better talking animation, you know, our mouths move, as I think that would look awesome in quests and role plays. Once again, clothes have been confirmed to be incomplete with lots of weird warping and glitching going on. A lot of the clothes also don't fit the characters properly yet, leaving them to look weirdly shaped compared to what their body type is supposed to look like, even just jagged edges and everything like that. That's like what I mean by weirdly shaped. Nevertheless, we have toes now. I for one, I'm not a fan of feet, so wearing sandals isn't a common occurrence for me in real life or in the game. However, with the release of toes, I can say that I am probably more likely to dress my Star Stable character in them. In saying this, I have had just a few comments saying they don't want toes, which I find hilarious. It is rather iconic that our characters don't have toes, and people who join the community afterwards and look back in time will not understand all of the jokes that we made about toes. But unfortunately, we just can't please everyone. But for those asking, yes, toes are coming to our characters. Onto the actual topic of clothing, I suppose. <laughs> I think the dresses and other related clothing items look absolutely amazing on these characters. If it wasn't for my lack of closet space, I am definitely so tempted to go out and buy so many new dresses when these characters officially come to the game. Please Star Stable, please give me an updated closet. <laughs> The same goes for singlet tops, although there's something still a little bit strange about them that I can't quite put my finger on. I absolutely love them more now than on our current characters. The final thing I thought of for clothes was the shorts. They are one of the only pant items that actually seem to be fitting on our current body types, although there is like a few combinations of clothing which does glitch out, you know, like a specific shirt and shorts creates this weird just like... You'll see it in the video. <laughs> there are so, so many clothes which are currently very warpy in the pattern and more the, like, etc. Which I really hope gets fixed because, ugh, the little Star Stable birthday shirts give me life and the logo just looks so weird right now. Just a final time, Star Stable has confirmed that changes to the clothing does still need to be made to make them fit better to the body types. This was kind of my final point, like overall, but I don't know if it's actually like five. It's kind of like four. And I don't know. You know what? It's the technicalities. Let's just talk overall. Even if not everyone is happy with the body types, the new characters are already subjectively a massive improvement from the old. With six new body types being better than just one option, including the face customization as well. There is always going to be ways for the team to improve and I think that during the beta testing phase, people forgot that this isn't a demo or even a complete in any aspects. This is and was just beta testing. Animations were a copy and paste and barely started. More body types and character customizations are coming, alongside skin texture and heterochromia just for examples. I'm not sure if people reciprocate this feeling, but I feel like once we get skin texture and heterochromia, more on the skin texture side, I feel like depending on what is added, it has the potential to make our characters look older than they are. I know that's something that a lot of people gave feedback on. I just feel like if they give us skin texture, skin texture goes a long way to making our characters look different ages, etc. If that makes sense. I don't know, just wanted to add this in just as my little... Uh, opinion idea I don't know <laughs> I do believe Star Stable could have advertised the fact this was a very early beta a bit better but at the same time initially it sounded like this was going to be a closed a closed beta when no content was going to be allowed to be shared I feel somewhat responsible for that I'm not saying that Star Stable regularly watches my videos or it might have just been a coincidence, but at one point when beta testing was announced, I mentioned that EA, the game company behind The Sims 4, 
how to create a network where certain creators could almost test new packs before it was released to help create hype. I didn't realize at the time how incomplete the characters were, and maybe if we waited until a later date with possibly a second beta testing phase, there might have been such a big thing that happened in the community. Star Stable might have seen content creators already sharing information about beta testing starting and even how to apply to be a beta tester that they decided to allow beta testers to share the footage last minute, but honestly, we might never know what actually happened during this decision. Anyways, I say all of this not to deter you from giving feedback. It is so good to let the team know that you still want more body types and head shapes, what you are looking for in animations when they are finalized and more. But some of the language used in ways that some, but not all, people went about letting the team know about our wants in this game were not acceptable. Now I'm not mad at anyone. It's really hard for me to get mad. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just want to take this time to help educate you, once again not everyone, to know how to share your feedback in a constructive and kind way in the future because maybe this was just something you've never been taught. For starters, words such as gross are not going to help anyone in this situation. People in this world do have the body type Star Stable has featured in this beta. And regardless of whether or not you have the body types featured, someone has read your words and felt badly about themselves. I don't want to fully launch myself into that situation in this specific video, so I'll mention just a few more things. I deeply apologize if you have had feelings about quitting Star Stable because you don't like this change, and I wish with my whole heart we could all have the Star Stable that we personally want. I struggle a lot with pleasing people. Hence why I don't livestream a lot anymore, because it started to stress me out so much that I couldn't visit all the servers that people ask and continue asking for. So I really, really do so wish that we could just have every single aspect of what everyone wants in this game. But unfortunately, we can't. If you do decide to not play the game, then I really do wish that you find a game or an activity where you can truly enjoy yourself once again. And who knows, maybe we'll meet again in the future. This video isn't specifically the place for me to continue on this conversation, so let's jump back to the main topic. Let me know in the comments below what your top 5 favourite things you saw in the beta testing are, no matter how big or small. And remember one thing you loved about these new characters, someone might not reciprocate the feeling, and that's okay. Take care everyone!